Let's talk about the length of a hanging cable, also known as catenary. If you see a cable or a chain that is held at two ends, uh, so for example like a chain necklace, the natural hanging shape is described by the catenary, uh, which is k times cosine hyperbolic x over k. And cosine hyperbolic is the symmetric part of the exponential function is it's e to the something plus e to the negative of that divided by two. That's what cosine hyperbolic is. Now, <clears throat> why would you get this function to be describing this correctly? Uh, that is actually a, a very hard question. Uh, you need to do variational calculus to derive the equation and then you have to solve it. And the equation itself is nonlinear, so it's a highly non-trivial thing, and we're not going to be doing it. We'll just accept that this is a correct model for uh, such a hanging cable, and note that this is not a parabola. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because a viewer emailed me asking for such a question. I am building a backyard suspension bridge and having problems figuring out the length of the parabola between the vertical wires that go down to the deck of the bridge. So. If you ever seen a suspension bridge, uh, there's a big cable that uh, makes it stable, and he wants to know this length. Uh, this is from Rob Kagan, uh, uh, one of uh, our maritime graduates. Okay, so let's try to uh, help him by figuring out the length of this cable given this width and height. Uh, the way you do it is first uh, take this function and figure out what this uh, W and L should be. Uh, so first of all, uh, if you look at this graph, uh, since let's say this this is the top of the two two endpoints, and uh, <clears throat> because this entire length is W, that means this right here will be W divided by two w divided by 2. So what I'm going to do is I can plug in into this function w divided by 2 to get this height. But then the height is not from this point to 0 but it's from this point, right? So uh, you also have to think about what happens if you plug in 0 to get this lowest point. So cosine hyperbolic of 0. Cosine hyperbolic of 0 happens to be 1, so this is equal to k. And the height will be the difference between these two points, and that's why you have this as your height. And then um, <clears throat> uh, for the length of the cable, uh, I'll be using uh, some integration calculus. Uh, it's, it's doable. But most uh, arc length calculations are pretty horrible, so I don't want to spend too much time showing you how. But let me just go uh, over really quickly. So if you take this and differentiate, you see that e to the x over k differentiates to 1 over k times e to the x over k because of the chain rule. This, this comes out because of the chain rule. And that cancels this, this k in front. And uh, <coughs> as a result, uh, the k goes away and because of this minus you have this minus. Now we plug that into this formula for the arc length. Uh, this can be found in any calculus textbook. And if you simply uh, expand this a minus b squared form, uh, it's a binomial expansion, right? So using this formula you, you get this twice of the product of the two, but because these two are uh, reciprocals of each other they cancel and you just have minus 2 but then there's a 4 over 4 4 minus 2 is plus 2 and then you can rewrite this as uh, this squared it's important to make it into this squared form because this has to be plugged into the inside the square root and what happens is that since square root and square cancels you end up with a very simple integral uh, which you can just integrate like this, but it's easier to integrate once you convert it back to cosine hyperbolic. The integral of cosine hyperbolic is positive sine hyperbolic, uh, not negative. 
uh, and then uh, the K comes in front because of the uh, reverse chain rule and then when you plug in A that's how you get the length of the cable okay so that's that's what you get okay uh, so these are the formulas you need except the problem is if you if you're given H and W you have to figure out what K is right but this is a highly non-trivial equation to solve. You can't solve this equation by hand. And therefore, to, to solve this equation, let me uh, erase a few things. It's a bit ugly. Uh, if you want to solve this equation here for k, uh, you have to use some numerical so solution packages, something like uh, newton ralphson method. So Newton's method. Uh, which is like you you start with the original uh, first uh, guess and then you update it by minus f of x divided by f prime of x and that's your new x it, you just uh, do this recursive process over and over again and it gives you a better and better approximation and it converges pretty quickly so you have to do this first to find the value of k and once you find the value of k then you can plug it in in here now uh, since uh, I thought that people may want the other ways too so some of you might want to know what the height would be if w and l are given so in that case you have to solve this for k again use, use Newton Ralphson so I made this uh, since since uh, Newton's method is, itself is uh, quite involved as well. Rather than uh, spending time uh, explaining what it is, I just made a web page. So I'm I'm going to uh, put this web page on a uh, on on the link description. So link is in the description, okay? And this is uh, how you how you use it. You just put the width. Let's say width is four and height is say one, and then you have to leave the other one blank and then you calculate then you get the value of uh, what should be in that there okay so hopefully this explains how uh, everything is done and I hope uh, more people would be helped by this video